how to add sub count in OBS. So that's what I'm going to show you guys in the super quick and easy tutorial. So without further ado, let us begin. So the first thing that we're going to do first is to just go to the channel that you're going to use for your live sub count. So for me, I'll just be using my personal channel. So I'll just go to my web browser right here and then just go on to YouTube. And then once you're here, just go to your profile. So I'll just go to my profile right here. I'll just view my channel. Once you're in your channel, just go to customize channel right here and then you'll be redirected to the YouTube studio. So once you're in your YouTube studio, just go to analytics right here in the left side. Afterwards, in the right side over here, you'll get to see a real time subscriber count right here. So what you wanna do from here is to just simply click on see live count right here, and then you'll be redirected here in this page. So just don't exit this page right now because we're still gonna configure some settings in OBS. So once you're here, just simply open up OBS. And then from here, just choose a scene that you want to use. So for example, I'll just be using this scene right here that will just display a display capture. So once you are in your scene, just simply go to sources right here, click on this plus button, and then just simply click on browser. And then after that, you can name your browser scene to anything you like. So for example, I'll just name it YT subcount. There you go. I'll make it, okay. I'll just click okay. And then there you go. And then once you're here, you can configure the width and height of your, of your browser screen right here. But for me, I'll just leave it as it is. And then the important part right here is adding the URL. So what you want to do now is go back to your web browser and where you have this live sub count. So just copy the link of this, go back to OBS and then just simply paste in the link right here. And then before you click OK, you can also customize your, your sub count right here, like adding custom CSS and some other settings right here that you can configure. But for me, I'll just leave it at its default settings. So after that, just simply click on OK. And then there you go. So as you can see right here that it is asking us to sign into our account. So what you wanna do from here is just simply right click the source for your browser, click on interact. And then from here, what you wanna do is to just simply sign in your account. So just simply type in from your keyboard right here, your email and your password. And then after signing in, you'll be redirected again to your YouTube channel right here. So it will ask you to select a channel. So I'll just select this channel right here that I've made. And then there you go. So as you can see, we now have our live subscriber count. So you can now exit out of here. So right now we can now um, edit out our subscriber count right here. So if you want to remove like these text right here, like the channel growth, the updating live, what you can do is you just simply go to a corner of your source right here, go to this like box or red box that you, that you will see on the corner, click on it, and then simply click on Alt on your keyboard, and then you can simply resize it to the size you want. So as you can see, I can resize it like that. And then there you go. So let's say I just want to leave in the subscriber count. So there you go. And there you go, we now have our subscriber count right there. And then you can resize it to anything you like. And then you can now put it anywhere you like. So as an example, I'll show you guys the live subscriber count. So I'll just open up YouTube on my phone and then I'll just simply unsubscribe and resubscribe to this specific channel. So I'll just um, open up a YouTube account from my phone. And then let's say I'll just unsubscribe and resubscribe to this channel. So I am unsubscribing right now. And then let's just wait for it to reflect on the live subscriber count. And then there you go. So as you can see, the subscriber count went down to 302. And then I'll just click on subscribe again. And then let's just wait for it to update. And then there you go. So as you can see that the subscriber count has now been updated. And then after that, you're pretty much done. So yeah, that's pretty much it on how to add sub count in OBS.